let's talk about the actual Herbie Hancock program itself. Um, what do you know about it? And um, just explain what that program is. Sure. The, the Her First off, Herbie H Hancock is a really notable jazz musician. A lot of people are going to be really familiar with uh, tunes like Chameleon and uh, titles of that sort. sort. Um, and so he's be become the signature person in the Institute that's actually based at UCLA in Los Angeles. Uh, they have a very wide range of things that they do with in the Institute. One of those things that we're bringing to Arkansas is the peer to peer initiative where they are actually bringing young, talented jazz musicians from across the U.S. into Bentonville. To, and they're also bringing professional instrumentalists and vocalists jazz, on the jazz scene uh, to interact with these all-star kiddos that they're bringing in as well, to interact again with our kids here in Bentonville. So it's a really, I think a unique opportunity for us in a lot of ways. Um, this year, the Institute chose two states in the U.S. to, uh, to be able to work on this peer-to-peer -peer initiative. Uh, of course, Arkansas is one of them, and the other one is Virginia this year. And we're just really fortunate to be able to bring this in here, to be able to not only be in Arkansas, but to also work with both of our high schools, our 912 high schools here in Bentonville. So couldn't be more excited about the opportunity for our kids. What, what steps were taken to get that program to come to Arkansas? Sure. Well, you know, interestingly enough, uh, the uh, the coordinator of this at UCLA, his name is J.B. Dias, D-Y-A-S, J.B. Dias. And J.B. actually started with a, a, a letter to Dr. Jones, our superintendent, and to me saying, we have an interest in coming to Arkansas. We have identified Bentonville and we've spotlighted your programs as uh, programs that we wanna come and interact with. And we want to come to your schools and uh, be able to interact with your kids. And I think part of the emphasis here, uh, Darren, is that they have um, a real US history, American history, social studies bent to what they're doing. And so one of the first things they do is meet with a general population of our students. And they uh, put on an event called an, an informants. And that informants is actually a presentation about American history, social studies, and how jazz actually impacted the cultural emphasis of the U.S. and how the work ethic and the democracy of a jazz ensemble are really indicative of the U.S. mindset. So it sounds like they heard you before you heard them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and that's right. That's actually right. They, uh, they again... They just, I, I guess, a little bit by reputation, you know, uh, our program here, uh, because of the great work our educators do um, in, in, the, in our schools, and particularly our performing arts and our instrumental and vocal uh, teachers here. I, I just feel really strongly that the work they've done is kind of a pace setter, and it's got the word out about what's happening. And I think they, they, the Institute reacted favorably with us that way. And of course, we've just taken steps to set everything up accordingly. What do you hope your students get out of this? Yeah, well, I think one of the big things from a general population standpoint with all of our students is just that idea about how integral music and specifically jazz is to the American culture and American history. You know, jazz is one of the uniquely American art forms, probably the only one. And um, so to be able to take advantage of that and to be able to spotlight that with our, our kids and to be able to provide some background in that, uh, that area to reinforce some other curriculum things that our teachers are working on in the classroom from a history standpoint. And uh, I just think it's, it's great, of course. And then on the music side, our students in side-by-side -side efforts with some of the finest peer musicians in the, in the United States, that's unparalleled. You know, uh, uh, one of our, the, the star musicians that they're bringing in, a high school student, wants to talk to them about 
hard work and initiative and finding something that you belong to, believing in something and working hard to achieve the, those goals, that goal for that particular thing. To hear a student speaking with another student about that is even more powerful than an educator talking to a kiddo about it. It's, it's, I think that's the really, that's kind of the, the really important part of this that we want to make sure that we, we clear all the obstacles for and make sure that that's out there for our kids to benefit from. And this is really hands-on. They, this is, they, they don't sit there and listen and watch. There's some hands-on going on here. Absolutely. You know, once the informant session of this is over, our student musicians will break down with these specific music kids in the band room and the choir room and begin to interact together and make music together and talk shop, if you will, you know, about uh, the creation of, of, of jazz and instrumental and vocal technique. Dr. Martin, thank you so much. Congratulations. It, this ought to be something that, that these students will not soon forget. Thank you.